Okay, so breaking news. We're up to 3-7. No pre-lesson. Uh, I think that'd be overkill. I think we can just hammer out some example problems and you guys will be ready for your homework. So they're going to take the world of transformations and they're going to mess with you a bit. So here's a sample question. And by the way, I've seen these on ACT, SAT sort of things. Um, so it's asking you mainly, if you look at this function, um, is it even or odd? Now, if you just look at the function, you'd say, hey, it's odd. You should be recognizing that it is a cubic function. And you're like, well, initially, it's odd. But they're saying, OK, now, now that that's true, what if you reflected it over the y-axis? What would it be? Well, I'm going to do it in red. Here's my y-axis. If I spun it around the y-axis, it would simply be like this. Now, here's the twist. All they want you to know is, is it even or odd? And in this case, it would be odd still. The only difference is, remember, the purple one is when the leading coefficient is positive. That's the normal. So the only thing, if they did ask you this, like, what about the leading coefficient? We'd say, um, you know, that would be different. But they don't really want you to, to worry about that. It's still odd. It's just been reflected over the y-axis. Okay, with that being said, um, now they're going to come at you like this. So the simplest way to say it's odd is it's just the same thing rotated. So it doesn't, you know, it's got the same, um, the end behavior changes, but it's essentially the parent function is still a cubic. So don't think too much about that. I can, I can see how you might get a little confused. But now it says, what if you rotate it 180 degrees about the origin? So it's like there's a nail right here, and i got to spin this thing. So really, if you think about it, 1, 1 would go 180 and land right on top of negative 1, 1. Negative 1, 1 would rotate this way and land right on top of 1, 1. So guess what? No change. So it's still uh, all right, different way of kind of asking you questions. Okay, they get a little wonky with you on this one. So, first of all, we look at this and we think, hey, this looks similar to y equals x squared. Notice I said similar. Um, parabolas just come up and go, you know, go down and up. Very uh, symmetric. These. Now, technically, there's a little, remember the rules? There's one, two, three bumps. But sometimes you can't see those bumps when you actually go to decimals or when you graph it by hand. So what they do is they make x to the fourth kind of flat. Um, there's little bumps in there, but you can't even see them with the naked eye. You have to need like a high-powered microscope to see that. So, but they don't, they're asking you, is it even or odd? So we go, hey, this looks like a parabola. Parabola is even. So this would be, well, the original would be even. But then if I reflect it over the y, it's just it's the same thing. So it's still even. So um, kind of a review sort of thing. Can you see why I didn't do a pre-lesson? OK, next example problem. OK, you're going to be blown away at how simple this is. They want to know. Is this function even or odd? Well, highest power is even. Done. What about this one? Highest power is odd. Done. Now, there's this fancy way of saying, well, they're neither. Sometimes some of these functions are neither. I'm going to just choose not to dive into that. I think you guys are up to here with this information. I'm going to call her good. Next example coming up. All right. Transformation review. All they're, all they're doing now, you know, we did a lot of uh, quadratics, parabolas, a lot of cubics. Now they're just seeing if you realize the rules are the rules are the rules no matter what the graph is. So having said that, here's your function. The parent function would just be x to the fourth. So 
This is your normal one. We talked about that a couple examples ago. Um, so what happens? Well, look at you guys. This is the same thing as 3 times x minus 0 or plus 0 to the 4th minus 18. So what does this do? Well, that's a vertical stretch factor 3. Okay? Uh, what does that do? Well, that just goes down 18. So hopefully that's big time review for you guys. This one, what's the parent function? Well, that would be f of x equals a cubic function, because we can see that. So what happens? Vertical stretch, 5. Right 2, up 4. All right. What if this was negative? That'd be over the x. Just throwing that in for 3. So a lot of review on the final section. Okay, last two sample problems. If you're going to have any difficulty, it'd be here, but... I don't anticipate a whole lot of uh, trouble here. They're just kind of coming at you backwards. Now they're going to give you the graph and expect you to come up with the actual um, function. So, step one, we look at this and we kind of know what the parent function is because we kind of see we're recognizing that. So our parent function is going to be f of x equals a cubic. Now we just have to build on this. So I want you to really focus on that, because you can see that's kind of the center of it, where the turning point is. So we know it's moved left three and down one. So we're going to build with that. So we're going to call this g of x, because it's different. And we're going to start with x plus three cubed minus one. Now we have to figure out something about this. Because if you recall, the normal cubic looks like that. Now, if I move that one left three down one, bing, 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 it would look like this might be bad. Ooh, yeah, yeah. So that has to move left three to there. So that would come in like this and like that. Now, notice. This, if I, if I actually took this and reflected it over the x-axis, the red one, this portion would be like this. This portion would be like that. And it looks like that's what we have here. You know what that means? It means there needs to be a negative in there to reflect it over the x-axis. Okay? Uh, some of you guys might be wondering about well, why doesn't it reflect over the Y? Um, they're not going to pound you with the reflection over the Y too much. Um, but I understand your argument because you know different people look at it differently. So focus on this. We're going to stick with this. Now look at this one. What's the parent function? Well, if I'm you, I'm like, oh, that's f of x equals x squared. But again, they're kind of messing with you. It's almost unfair. This is a little flat on the top, so it's not x squared, it's x to the fourth. But if you made that mistake and put a 2 there, I wouldn't be terribly upset at you. I mean, how can I be? So, with that being said, we got to build on this. First of all, the parent function, this, would look kind of like that. Flat, 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 flat. There are like a couple bumps in there. My squiggly is going to take care of it. So we can see that it's been flipped over the x-axis. You can just see it from here to here. And the vertex has been shifted right one up five. So we've got to take that and build it. So I'm going to take one step at a time and say, OK, how do I represent that with move to the right one? It's going to be x minus one to the fourth up 5 is plus 5. And like I said, if this is our parent function, we can see that it's been flipped. There's going to be negative in front of that as well. That's it, you guys. Good luck on your homework. Your final homework assignment of Unit 3.